All right, g'day guys. Today we are here for the big one. The West Coast Eagles are taking on the Pies in a grand final replay of 2018, of course, back at the scene of the crime of that famous Dom Sheed goal. And don't you bet I haven't forgotten about that. And of course, I'm going to bring it up in the first two minutes of this video. Um, all right, so we're just coming off a loss of the first loss of the season as the boys run out to that majestic stadium. Uh, dramatic scenes. I still can't quite get over how he lost in the dying minutes. Still a bit shell-shocked, but I guess that's what happens when you take your foot off the pedal. You're 9-0. You start to believe you can't lose, and the Giants just snuck up on upon, upon us, and Liam Duggan was so unlucky for the siren to go right as he was about to kick that goal. Uh, but that's footy, I guess, guys, and today we're taking on a very, very good side who are second on the ladder. It's a clash between top and second. Um, I'd imagine this would be close to 70k, I reckon, at the stadium. Let's just say, it doesn't really matter. Uh, which would be huge for this kind of game. Uh, the Eagles don't usually pull those kind of crowds, but eh, let's just assume that's at least 70k in, in the crowd. Of course, we're still missing Luke Shuey, Tim Kelly, Nick Natnui, and Brad Shepard from the best 22, uh, which is four painful injuries, I'm not going to lie. Um, particularly with Brody Grundy in this opposition side today. But I believe we've got it in us to take home the four points. Let's get into it, guys. Oh, can he put on a burst of speed there, Sheed? The need for Sheed is real. Oh, he might actually find an eagle here. That was... Oh, no, Flynn Appleby takes the grab. Oh, that is a great tackle from Bunga Hearn. It's been a dramatic couple of minutes. Game really hasn't settled down yet, as you would expect. He needs to find someone with his short kick. He finds Petrocelli. Can he take the grab? It's just been spoiled. Darling gets boot to ball. And surely someone can put this through. No. It's, oh, yes, I've been given a free kick. Not sure why. Jack Petrocelli um, has been given a free kick. Someone's been reported for the pie for a rough contact. But at the bottom... The bottom line is rather the Eagles get the first goal. Ball spills. They can create from this. Archie goes off the ground. It's a foot raise. Cripp's got to be quick. He's just got his boot on the ball and he's put it through. The Eagles are two goals in front. I'm just going to take this shot anyway. Because frankly, I like taking snaps. Oh, he's nailed it. <laughs> Finding the loose ball was rough head. There's the siren. And that is quarter time. It's been a tight tussle. The Eagles well ahead on the scoreboard. But it doesn't feel that way. Collingwood have played pretty well, and I do say that pretty much every game. But I have kind of just been lucky with some of my opportunities getting out the back. But we are winning the inside 50s and even doing respectably well in the hit out. Punched away. He hit for home. Plenty of the ball. Oh, we're going to get a goal out of this. He has. Josh Thomas bangs it home, and we're back to six points. Ordered. That's the last thing I need with Nat Nui out. Oh, no. What a kick that is. Jaden Stevenson with a typically brilliant goal. The quick pick up, the swerve. And he's nailed it. That is hurt. That hurts. And the pies are down by just one point now. Yeah. Out of oh, just on half time. Wow, that was a tough first half, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is a battle of inches, to be honest, so far. Collingwood still have less inside 50s, but they monstered me in that quarter. Taylor Adder, Tom Longden. Sorry, Tom Langdon. Getting a lot of the ball there. Yo's done well for me. Petricelli, the only multiple goal kicker in the whole game. 26 points to 7 in that second quarter. It was well controlled by Collingwood. Uses a short handle. Just sends it into space. Oh, Receives yeah. the handball. And Redden takes off. Redden puts it on the side board. his name. Because he has put it through to Liam Ryan, who's run through and kicked the goal. That was a tough play. You can tell by my voice how tense this game is. Oh, this should be a pretty cruisy goal for, for goal. Collingwood. Oh, he's just taking the mark. Too good. Uh-oh. 
just manufactures what he could. He gives oh, it a goodness, that is a very quick kick oh, under severe pressure. Hoskin Elliott gets the reply for the Pies and cut the margin back to nine points. Push in the back, I've been gifted a free kick. Jamie Cripps could stretch the margin back to 15 points. The air is perfectly still. And that should go straight through. Well, not straight through, but it was a good kick nonetheless. The Eagles are up by 15. Calls for a stoppage. Punched away. Oscar Elliott decides to soccer it. He looks like he needs a spell. Oh, poor defence by me, and they've made me pay. Hoskin Elliott with another goal. Now it's eight points. Oh, he gifted a free kick there. Does it, I reckon he needs to get the tour out for this. Not a bad effort, but it won't go through. And he's kept it in. Right on three quarter time. I was kind of cheap trying to keep the ball alive to generate a scoring opportunity, but that is three quarter time, folks. Four points for the margin. What have we got in this final turn? Oh no. How did that happen? I got betrayed there. I, I fixed it to my player who ran directly towards a Collingwood player and forced a contest. That hurts. He has put it through. Collingwood are in front. I feel stiff there. I, I feel like I deserve to be in front still. Oh. Yes, I've been awarded a free kick for that unrealistic attempt. I feel like this needs to be a torpedo. This is going to be tough. If I nail this. Oh. I reckon he's got it, Xavier. Xavier O'Neill. Oh my god, the youngster in just his second game. Almost had a match winning goal last week. Well, not match winning, but bloody good kick last week. Put us in front by one point. He's just done a similar clutch kick for us there. Might have to call him Mr. Clutch. That might be his new name. Oh no. That's unforgivable from Jeddah, and I'm, I mean me. That was painful. Oh, he's made me pay for it too. Jamie Elliott has been a thorn in my side today. Oh no. Oh, that is a very, very quick kick. That is completely undefendable. As if Jordan Ruffhead has done that again. He's a ridiculously good player. Three goals and 15 disposals. Are you, that's ridiculous. Oh, O'Neill, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh, okay. Ooh, Maynard. Fucks it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Oh, that is how close we were to the end of the game. You are joking. Two weeks in a row with the final play of the game. We have lost just about. The Pies get their revenge on the MCG. The scene where the Eagles stole the flag from them in 2018. And the Eagles are now gone two losses in a row. Not too concerning. They played two good sides after a streak of winning nine in a row. They're going to the bye now with two straight losses. It was a tough game. It hurts to lose, but both sides deserve to win, to be honest. Uh, that was fantastic. Who's player of the match? Jordan Ruffhead, unsurprisingly. Dom Sheed likes Collingwood. He gets two votes, and Tom Langdon was good for them as well. Overall, the Pies overcame a slow start, and then it was just pretty much goal for goal for the rest of the game. The Eagles got out to a 4.3 quarter time lead, and then the Pies obviously win by four points. Before we go, guys, let's have a look at the ladder. The Pies are now even with the Eagles following the bye, uh, which we've just skipped through. We're 17 point, percentage points ahead, which is handy, and we have a game in hand where we play Essendon next week, Thursday night, at Optus Stadium. As we look at that top four, West Coast, Collingwood, Hawthorne, GWS, all our um, next opponents are down in 14th spot, the Essendon Bombers. So that will be an interesting matchup. I hope to see you guys join us next week or next round for that episode. Cheers, guys.